This test uses the standard VER2 test kit, including reader, printer, and barcode scanner, and the Apple V test kit, including disposables like strip test, strip test vials, filters, diluent, and extraction tubes. You will also need to provide your own scale with gram accuracy and purified water and methanol or 7030 premix methanol available from Vicam. The Virtu equipment package includes a barcode scanner used to choose the test you're selecting, as well as a printer to print results. Attach the wire to the bottom of the barcode scanner and then plug into one of the two ports on the side of the Virtu. Either one is fine, they are interchangeable. Plug the USB port to the bottom of the printer and then plug it into the other port on the side of the Virtu. You'll also see a power supply on the side of the Virtu. You can plug this in to charge the rechargeable battery. The Vertu system is capable of testing many different commodities. First, keep a copy of the Afla V instruction guide by you in order to follow along with the test. The barcode is unique to the lot of strip tests. Hold the barcode scanner at a 45 degree angle to the barcode and pull the trigger. You will see the display change the lot ID and the test type. Weigh 5 grams of ground sample and place it in an extraction tube. Measure 25 milliliters of 70% methanol with a graduated cylinder and pour it into the extraction tube. Cover the extraction tube and vortex the mixture for 2 minutes at maximum speed. Using the filter paper, a funnel, and a clean extraction tube, filter the extract into the clean extraction tube. Transfer 100 microliters of Afla V diluent to the strip test using the pipetter. Press to the first stop and release to pull liquid into the pipetter. Then push down to the second stop to release the fluid. For best results, hold the pipetter vertically. Prime the tip of the pipetter by filling and emptying the tip once. Press to the first stop and release to fill. Then push to the second stop to release. Push to the first stop to fill and continue. Use the same pipette tip to measure the diluted sample. Pull 100 microliters of sample extract. Close the vial lid and mix well by vortexing. Do not dispose the filtered extract at this time. In case of an out of range error, you will be using this filtered extract a second time. Be sure to change the pipette tip. After vortexing, transfer 100 microliters to the well in the Afla V strip test. Drop vertically approximately one drop per second into the circular opening. Allow the strip test to develop for five minutes on a flat surface, such as a countertop. After five minutes, insert the Afla V strip test into the VAR2 reader. The circular edge should go into the left-hand side of the reader and be loaded in first. Press the center button to start measurement. In a few seconds, your results are shown on the screen. Use the right arrow button to move the cursor to the P and press the center button to print the results if desired. Use the left arrow button to move back to NT for next test. A greater than range message means the sample is contaminated beyond the detectable limit for the test. We can use math and sample dilution to increase the range of the test.
Use the original filtered sample. Dilute the filtered sample in a new vial with 100 microliters of extract with 400 microliters of 7030 methanol. Mix well by vortexing. In a second vial, add 100 microliters of Afla V diluent. Add 100 microliters of the first vial to the second vial and mix by vortexing. Pipette this new solution from the second vial onto a new strip. Let the strip incubate for five minutes on a flat surface. After five minutes, insert into the reader and then read the results. Multiply the result by five for the true level of contamination up to a limit of 200 parts per billion. If the display shows invalid, something has happened to the strip test. A valid strip test will show both a control line and a test line, as shown in the lower strip. If you're missing this, you may have to check your deluent, or perhaps you have old methanol. Contact Vicam Tech Services for assistance.